crafty friends it's jess from JessCrafts.com, and today i'm here with a chinese new year card for the year 2016 as you can see right there in the digital image it is the year of the monkey and so i wanted to incorporate that and this is a free printable from my website where you could just download this and print it out and use it right away I did this because I noticed that I got a lot of people searching last year at my New Year's card, but I figured, you know, if you're not a typical card maker with lots of supplies and stamps, it might be fun to just give you an image that you could use and print out right on your computer. So if you follow the link in the video description below, you could just copy this image, paste it into a Word document, and print it out on whatever paper you have, and do some simple coloring. And to keep it, again, it's better for people who don't always make cards or have a lot of supplies. I'm just using colored pencils today. So you could use just solid colored pencils. I'm mixing it up a little bit with an ombre effect. So since I have a pretty large stash of colored pencils, I'm using three different reds. Then I'm going from a dark to a medium to a light to give a sort of ombre effect. But no matter what your skill level or supply level, you could just color these in solid with whatever medium you have and it will look great. I'm choosing red because it's a lucky color and a, a good New Year's color, and I'll be incorporating some gold as well. When I printed this off, I did add the Happy New Year in a font from my computer. It's not included as part of the digital stamp, but it's quite easy to just type under there, or of course if you had a stamp that would work well. Here I'm using the Prisma colored pencils, and I'm just taking a lighter color of brown for the monkey, covering all over with it, and then adding a darker color and blending with the lighter color. You can try this no matter what kind of colored pencils you have, but the lightest color is going to work well to blend things out. You might find that if you layer on a lot of colored pencil, you get sort of a waxy bloom where your paper looks kind of shiny. If you have the materials and that's not something that you're going for, you can take some Gamsol and that does sort of get rid of that waxy bloom a little bit, but I don't mind that look personally. Once I have my simple image colored, I'm going to, I cut it out with a die cut that has a little stitch detail, which is even a little bit hard to notice here, but you could cut it out with a pair of scissors or a paper trimmer. And then I'm mixing it with some shiny sort of foiled papers in red and gold. You could choose whatever pattern papers you wanted from the craft store. You could use just regular construction paper to add these layers on. I do find though that adding that extra layer is a way to make your card look a little bit more um, professional and polished. However, if you wanted, you could just print this 2016 monkey image on a piece of paper and fold it in half and have fun coloring it. I could see um, kids having some fun making with these cards. And then I'm going to take all of those layers and mount it onto a card base and I'm just using some crafting card stock here. Once I had all of that adhered, I thought that it could use one more sort of finishing touch. And again, I wanted to keep it something that anyone could get a hold of. So I have these sequins that I actually picked up at my local dollar store. And I'm just going to glue them on. You want to make sure that you're using a strong glue, something like um, an Elmer's glue might not hold but perhaps any sort of craft glue would maybe give you a better result. But I'm just laying on a little dot of glue and then adhering my sequins on. I decide to go with five sequins and center them um, because it five was just long enough to sort of provide a bit of a grounding effect, um, but not too many that it overwhelmed the card with too much sparkle. And it helps to bring in that gold layer since I had two spots of red and now I have two spots of gold. And once I have those sequins adhered, that's going to be it for my card today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting tutorials, including um, coloring tutorials as well, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Remember to follow the link in the video description below to find this free digital image. If you do decide to use the image, I would love for you to leave me a comment letting me know that you liked it or just um, showing me what you made with it. That would be awesome. And you can also find all of my links on social media in the video description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.